Let's close out with this. Deshaun Jackson said on a podcast that he wants the NFL to mic up players if there are not going to be fans in the stands. I don't think we have any issue going forward. Obviously, we'll see what happens after all the uh, the stuff that's been going on in this country. Um, but I, I think we're going to have fans in the stands. I, I don't yeah, think that's going to be an issue. I 100% agree. Um, so what I'll he take said, the over on any bets I can get for attendance. What uh, what he said was, uh, he da, 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 let me see. He said, it's going to get crazy without fans, Jackson said. I think they should mic up players. I think they should give fans insight to see what really goes on between the white lines. It gets crazy. I know in the trenches it gets crazy, and I know on the outside it gets crazy too, the conversations we have going back and forth. Now, to go ahead and put this in perspective, other players have already weighed in on that subject. Kirk Cousins, um, he stated an empty stadium would be refreshing and a breath of fresh air. I mean, the guy doesn't really like pressure, I guess. Melvin he Gordon. Gets booed a lot, even at home. Yeah. Melvin Gordon, uh, he said that he is used to playing with no fans present because he played for the Chargers. Shots. Taking shots. You got to love that. Um, it, look, the deal is. Uh, Let's see, who was it? Oh, Jackson. He said, my feeling about playing in an empty stadium, I definitely can't recall playing in one. I've never played in an empty stadium, honestly. Uh, even in Pop Warner, I used to look in the stands and have fans, so it's going to be a culture shock. I think at the end of the day, we're all professionals, and we're all, or we'll all have to adapt to having no fans present. It'll definitely be weird at first, but hopefully they can figure out an alternative. I think a lot of teams and players feed off of the energy of fans. Yes, that's what home field advantage is. Um... I, I don't know. Uh, ben, let's go ahead and dive into these topics here, uh, or chats. Ben said, we'll see after these protests if there's a huge spike and we have to go back on lockdown. Uh, Damien said, I don't see sports happening at all, especially if martial law happening or happens. Uh, no, that's not going to happen either. We, we are at the very beginning of June. We are going to be fine. There I think we, no we are both optimists here. We think they're going to be fine. The, 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 they say 14 days for this thing to get in your body. That is the safety valve. But 90% of people see signs and effects within three to four days of COVID. And the, the protests are going on, what, day four, day five now. We would already be seeing six. spikes in Minnesota if it was a thing. Remember the, that 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 orgy that happened in the Ozarks that everyone said, "Oh my God, all these people are just going to die." One person came out of there and they said they had COVID, and that's somebody that they think probably had it before they got there. And then amazingly, nobody else got it that was sitting in a pool with them. Yeah. It's just we just don't have a lot of action of this thing being transmitted outside. I'm not a scientist. I'm just going off the stuff that I've heard, listened to and watched, but we have a lot of people walking hand in hand, arm in arm through streets, hugging, kissing, holding each other close right now. And we and haven't numbers are seen going down. many spikes. Yeah. Now, even if there is an uptick, we can't panic about an up, uh, uptick and a spike are totally different. These people have been locked in their homes for three and months, three and a half months. And now they're out. So if there's an uptick, that's different than a spike. We need to see mass. If hospitals aren't being overran, then we say we open it up. Yes. I'm, I want to go outside and I want to do stuff outside. Indoors, we can have different conversations because this thing does travel differently indoors. But outdoors, big stadiums, even if it's a dome kind of thing, it doesn't matter. Let us go. Let us go outside. Ben said uh, the protests will tell us if we can have stuff uh, or if we can stuff people into stadiums or not. It, yes, yes the pro, 100%. The, yeah, one week from today, we should have unbelievable results on if we should open up sports or not. Yeah, uh, because the protests are happening basically everywhere. Uh, Every, ben said, everywhere. Ben said, I'm not buying it yet. If there's really no huge spike, then maybe I'll be sold. Uh, it, I can understand that. I mean, obviously, take a wait and see approach. There's no issue with that. There's but no you don't have to wait. It's not like we have to wait three weeks. I mean, we're already four no. days into this. If we haven't seen a spike in another two or three days, it's just not coming. No, it it, it won't be. Like that's no. the way it goes. So I'm I'm curious. Uh, I don't know if it might be warm weather. I don't know what it could be. But I don't. I, I, I like I said, we're not scientists. We're not we the no guys who ask about this stuff. You got that right. So back to Deshaun Jackson, though. Uh, if there are no fans in the stands, if they decide that that is not the way that they want to go about this, if they want to just have football with no fans, um, miking up players, I, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, oh, Brian Yeti said, uh, we're a weekend, Chris. Yeah, we're, we're. I mean, it was seven days ago today that, uh, that George Floyd was murdered. So Yeah, but I don't think that, the protest really started. I think like there, a, was a, there was a shock 
there was an organization of people, and they, I think there were. I think we're a day or two off from the protest it, starting. It really fired up on Thursday night of last week, and, and Minnesota started before the rest of the country. So if we want to look for the the uptick faster, we look to them and and see have we had an uptick or not. Because if they're five days in, then yeah, we should have seen it by now. Yeah, yeah, we we really should have. Um, miking up NFL players, I don't think it's a good idea. I think, okay. it's terrible I think it would be really entertaining. You got to move all these games to like Showtime and HBO. Yeah, because they they are not going to. Uh, oh no! Yeah, no, you like yeah, when you when you hear when you hear these players mic'd up and you see it on, you know, whatever it may be. Um, it, when you see that stuff, it's it's already been edited. It's yes. already been, you know, shut up to where like you know exactly what you're going to get. First, the NFL edits it, then yeah. the team gets to edit it, and then the broadcast company after that takes what's left, and they edit it down and show you what they're avail- they're allowed to show you. Yeah, and that's that's where it becomes a thing. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, the NFL in no way will allow this to happen. No, I think it would be fun. I think it would be enjoyable. I wouldn't mind it, but I, th- there's no way it would happen. No, no way it would happen. But I, I also am the internal optimist. I don't think it's going to be an option. I think they're going to have fans. I think, well, I've told you, I think they're going to sell out opening day. Yeah. I think they're going to start on time, and they're going to pack those stadiums out. I really yeah. believe that. Yeah, I believe it as well. I, I don't know I think, that it's the right thing to do. I'm telling you, that's what I think is going to happen. I think the NFL wields that much power. They are stopping for nobody. Damian said, well, it worked for the XFL, so why not do it in the NFL? Plus, doesn't the NFL do it at the Pro Bowl? <laughs> we're we're having different conversations. Completely different conversations. The Pro Bowl is zero competition. Zero competition. Nobody wants to be there. Yeah, they, they mic up the XFL, but it, those players I mean This is not this is not that. It ain't the same. And the NFL the is same. super not gonna take anything that the FFL did. I mean, the one rule that we wanted them to take from the XFL, they tabled for a little while and they might come back to it. Yeah. They're just I love the XFL additions. I wish the NFL would adopt them all. Many and, they, and they probably will at some, some point. Some, maybe. Some of them. They're um, going to be slow to do anything because they're just they old guys are. that don't like change. Yeah, they don't like change. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to keep advancing the uh, the platform. Keep advancing. I don't know if they have doing. to keep advancing anything. Well, That's where we disagree. It, they, look, they already had massive numbers back, you know, when the XFL first started. And... You know, it is what it is. Brown Yeti said there, uh, there's a hot mic rule. You know, eh, eh, whatever. Eh, it is what it is. Uh, that's going to end the show today. There's a, there's no big topic that topped up, right? I was just nope, looking. I didn't see out. anything. All right, let's get out of here. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you, as always, for jumping in the chat. You guys drive the conversation. We love you for it. I can't tell you that enough. We really appreciate what you guys do. Um, make sure you are subscribed on all the different platforms. We... Uh, we appreciate that. We, <laughs> Damien said they should have the cameras in the locker room. Yeah, <laughs> with the whole XFL, WWE, whatever stuff. Yeah, I, we remember that. I'm with you. I'm with you. Good gracious. Who who doesn't love a, a beautiful woman, right? Um, you guys are fantastic. Again, can't thank you enough. Uh, make sure you're subscribed on all of our different platforms, our live platforms. We are live every Monday through Friday. This Thursday, we'll be going live at 3 p.m. I am making the transition back to the office so, we're going a little bit early, 3 p.m. Central Time on Thursday. Uh, Friday will be, you know, typical time. Normal time is what it is. So, uh, subscribe to the podcast. Leave us a review. Our Apple Podcast numbers are growing. We definitely appreciate that. You guys leaving comments and reviews and everything else. On your review, put in a question. Tell us a topic that we need to hit on. We will hit on it. We'll talk about it. So, we'll, uh, we'll include you in the conversation. We always appreciate that. Make sure that you check out tunicatravel.com. Tunica, Mississippi is the South's premier sports gambling destination, and they have got six wonderful sports books. You guys are great. Again, we love you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.